of what advertising dollars can do. And that's the very thing we're trying to keep out of our system is, um, you know, the politics and the money that winds up uh, having an impact on what kinds of, uh, you know, decisions you can get from, from a court. Now, that's interesting. She, in essence, says that uh, the, the fact that this is so even now is just because of the power of advertising. Just the power of advertising. Yeah. Which, what she's really saying is um, if, if Vanderplatz and if Iowa for Freedom want to exercise their freedom of speech, even if it's through advertising, through media, and let people know what's going on here, uh, then people would still just vote these Supreme Court justices and say, you know, here's a pat on the back. We vote to retain you. But now because my mom and several others are starting to figure out what is a retention system, and when a judiciary goes outside its jurisdiction, that we have a responsibility and a right to hold them in check, that they're going to vote no. I watched my mom vote no with passion on her on her absentee ballot, and and she's You're encouraging that kind of thing. I am encouraging absentee. Isn't, isn't that well evil? Isn't that kind well, of my mom had it. She wanted me to go through the ballot with her to make sure she was filling it out right. Oh, you were looking over. You're supposed to. Oh. Jeez, and I, I'm saying this all in public, Jan. <laughs>